I think that uh, MJF will go wherever the money is, and whoever's going to give him the money, they're going to benefit from that because they're going to sign a guy that's certainly going to go places in this business if you use him right. You have to do make sure that that's done right. <laughs> Rick Flair thinks that MJF, uh, while we're speaking about MJF, thinks that MJF could be the next Randy Orton. That's at the words of uh, Rick Flair. Uh, actually, I, I, I kind of thought about it. I was like, man, I kind of see him more as a Rick Flair, his character. But uh, Randy Orton, I'm thinking he's probably giving him that compliment because of being an all-around wrestler and uh, performer. And I guess that's what he's talking about. What were your thoughts uh, when you heard that, Bill? When the nature boy, is that pretty bad? Thank you. That's pretty bad. Uh, I, right. <laughs> uh, I, I, very flattering. Uh, by the way, congratulations to MJF because he was recently inducted into the uh, uh, at the Jewish Athlete yes. Hall of Fame, which is pretty cool. So he, um, uh, no, that uh, you can take that as a compliment because for Ric Flair, Randy Orton is an all-encompassing professional wrestler. So to get that compliment from the Nature Boy, take it to the bank. Teddy, this is something when we're you know with MJF that we mentioned on last week's show. I think it was maybe the week before um, that MJF. We weren't sure if he had signed or not. Well, MJF has confirmed he has not re-signed uh, anything. He's not doesn't have a signed contract. Uh, and I'm just thinking as a, as an insider, who's been there as people who know this business, if you are put yourself in the shoes of MJF right now, if he has not re-signed with AEW and WWE makes a play for him, which I'm sure they would, what advice would you give him as to where he should go? Because the way I'm seeing it, he's currently in AEW as their champion. And they've hit some high numbers during this time, but the future of AEW is kind of up in the air. And you got to take that in consideration if you're the talent, but you also got to consider and weigh in the fact that you can go to WWE, but you're not going to be the big fish there. So you can go from the big fish in the small pond to a small fish in a big pond. What would you do under the circumstances with MJF right now? Money not include, just take money out of the equation. Well, I would let MJF uh, make up his own mind. You know what I mean? And I, I want to say this, too. This guy, MJF, is so phenomenal. He is so great. I don't think he has to worry about trying to be the next Randy Orton. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Randy oh, no. Orton is Randy Orton is phenomenal, one of the all-time greats. But MJF is headed that way, too. In my, my opinion, I think right now he is one of the all-time greats. He can wrestle. He can talk. He's, he's as another guy, wrestling, entertain, okay? Yeah. So I think MJF is going to be his own man. He ain't going to have to pattern his style from nobody. He has his own style. So uh, I think, you know, to him, you know, you can't leave money out because that's, the, that's, the, that's it. Okay, if you leave the money out, then you got nothing. So I think that uh, MJF will go wherever the money is, and whoever's going to give him the money, they're going to benefit from that because they're going to sign a guy that's certainly going to go places in this business if you use him right. You have to do make sure that that's done right. If they took MJF out of AEW and WWE made the play and they got him, is that one of the final nails in the coffin for AEW? Can they recover from that, Bill? If the TV contracts are still there and the ratings are there and the sponsors are there, they'll do fine. If MJF goes to WWE, we saw when Cody went there, when CM Punk went there, when Jay Cargill was announced, that the fans knew who they are. It's not someone that they're going to start at the bottom of the barrel. They're going to start him on a, on a high up level. That to me is, is just going to be a really difficult decision for him. And again, I was trying to take money out of it because like you say, Teddy, yeah. you, can't, you can't take it out. But uh, just <laughs> career wise, I'd be afraid to sign a contract right now with AEW, not knowing what the future is. Even on their TV, Bill, you brought up TV programs. Uh, <laughs> right now we keep hearing that WWE is in the same play for the same network 
as AEW and that WWE may not want AEW in that same channel. And we've heard that, that maybe the they don't have a... Huh? That's a possibility, but keep this in mind too. MJF is a Long Island kid. He grew up watching WWF. Yes. That's to him... I, I'm not speaking for him, but if that's me, that's where I want to be. This, I yep. grew up with the, watching all these guys here. Now I'm a star in another organization, and the organization that I was the biggest fan of wants me. I'm going. 